the Ten Rings organization finds itself under a new establishment, with Shang Chi's sister as its leader, something that will play a huge role in the sequel. A movie that will surely see how Shang Chi will deal with the newfound powers he has on his hands, both literally and figuratively, especially if their power can be sensed by so many strong individuals across the now wide open multiverse. Marvel Studios' expansion that is happening for more than a decade now will likely cover every part of the fictional world, with events occurring from a technological genius in the United States all the way to the far reaches in Asia, something we got more of in 2021's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings a movie that lived up to the expectations, which were not that high at the moment, and even more. And although the fans desired to follow his story, it was not as strong as what the others had to offer in that field, including the likes of Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man. When the movie was released, the world was shocked in a good way, which is probably one of the main reasons why we have all the news on our hands about the Shang-Chi sequel. With the whole pandemic situation and the restrictions that came along with it, the filming industry took a step back when it came to making all the movies planned at that time. However, the movie managed to set itself up as a wide release in the midst of things. It opened in 43,000 theaters and enjoyed a box office opening weekend that cleared $75 million, which was not a bad start when we take into consideration just how unfamiliar his name was at that time when compared to the other big names of the Marvel Universe. To go along with the great opening of the movie, the critics loved the movie and audiences loved it even more with the movie even to this day standing at a 91% favorable critics rating on Rotten Tomatoes and an even better audience rating which currently stands at 98% on the same site. These are some numbers that are hard to miss, with the entire thing making it possible for Disney and Marvel to release the upcoming sequel. The story follows Simu Liu's Shang-Chi, who finds himself dealing with a past he thought he left behind. Joined by Aquafina's Katie, his best friend Minger Zeng as his younger sister, Yu Yali, Tony Lung in the role of Zhu Wenwo, his father, Michelle Wu Wu as Ying Nan, and Fala Chen as his mother Ying Li. The movie also had some surprising appearances from the likes of Benedict Wong as Wong, the Sorcerer Supreme, as well as Ben Kingsley's Trevor Slattery from the third Iron Man movie. Shang-Chi is only seven years old when his mother is murdered by his father's rivals, the Iron Gang. And after his father takes out the gank, he makes Shang-Chi train in martial arts. He is not a fan of it, but it leaves a space for his sister to join in. And when Shang-Chi turns 14 years old, he is sent by his father to assassinate the leader of the Iron Gang, something he accomplishes, after which he is traumatized by the way of how things work when he follows his father's orders and the world he lives in at that moment of his life. So he runs away all the way to the US, to San Francisco, and assumes a new name. Sean. After managing to avoid his father for quite a while, the past catches up to him. While working as a valet, he is attacked while on a bus. The entire flight is also one of the best ones we have seen, which ends with the Ten Rings, his father's organization, taking Shang-Chi's pendant that he has been wearing for so long, which was given to him by his mother. This in turn sets him and his friend Katie to recover the pendant and fulfill his destiny. There are many revelations along the way, with so many important things happening throughout the movie, as well as in the mid-credits and post-credits scene, with both of them setting up the character's future in the MCU and the events to come. So now that we know that a sequel is coming, let's dive right in and see where things stand right now. Before we move forward, the other thing we want to mention is the title of the sequel. Some rumors have been circling around the world that the title of the second movie will likely be Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Iron Fist. Now, it is not official just yet, so don't take our word for it. A title that could open up a lot of speculations, ones that we will ignore, because they could turn out to be just a waste if the said title does not come through. Which is also why we are going to refer to the upcoming movie as a Shang-Chi sequel for now. If something is not broken, it does not need to be fixed, right? Well, it seems like Marvel is going with the same notion as the sequel will be directed by Destin Daniel Cretton, who will be back behind the cameras of the sequel to helm the entire thing. As it stands right now, there are no signs of when the movie might release. However, we are here to speculate things, right? So, with everything in mind, our educated guess hints towards a late 2023 release, or even 2024. That is, if the sequels follow the pattern of the first movie, which saw Cretton join the project in 2019 and the movie originally set to arrive in February 2021, 
before being delayed to November 2021. Seeing where the titular character finished in the first movie and the signs pointing toward a bright future for the character in the MCU, Simu Liu is here to stay in the role of Zhu Cheng Chi, who will probably be joined once again by his best friend Katie and Aquafina in the role, with the sequel itself giving her more time with a bow and arrow, something she excels at. As we were able to see in the final moments of the first movie, Ming Zheng should also be back as Zhu Xialin, Cheng Chi's sister, now as the leader of the Ten Rings. There might be some doubt about Florian Montanu, whose character Razor Fist was originally supposed to not make it out of the movie alive. However, according to a deleted scene, he might be back for yet another movie, as he was seen getting some words of wisdom from Katie herself. Lastly, we also expect to see Michelle Yao to be back as Ying Nan, who survived the attacks and led the tribute to those who passed away. Other characters who will probably come back in a supporting role would be Ben Kingsley's Trevor Slattery and his companion Morris, with the likes of Tony Lung only being able to return in the sequel in a form of a flashback or two because of his character Zhu Wenwu dying in the closing minutes of the movie. There is still nothing official regarding the story of the sequel. However, judging by the post credit scene, we should expect more involvement from the big names of the MCU, including the likes of Doctor Strange, Wong, the Hulk, and Captain Marvel, with both Shang-Chi and Katie exploring a much different and the much changed world in their future within the MCU. The other thing the movie will likely touch upon in a big way is the way of how the Ten Rings will impact the MCU as a whole now under the new establishment of Zhu Zali, and whether she will rule the organization to do good deeds or continue where her father left off. And last but not least, the thing we think all of you will be excited about in the sequel is the fact of how Shang-Chi will deal with his newfound powers now that he has the Ten Rings in his possession, an ancient magical artifact that can be sensed throughout the universe, something the post credit scene taught us when Shang-Chi was told that the beads could be sensed around the world as well which could also mean that other bad guys might try to take them off Shang-Chi's hands and use them for their own selfish reasons and do bad things once they have the powers of the artifact in their hands. Thus, we would not want for them to fall into the wrong hands. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts about the movie and the post credit scene? What could it all mean? And as for the sequel, which direction would you like to see the movie go now that you have heard our take on the plot side of things for the movie? But also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.